Kielce, Poland, September 6, 2023, in a significant move to bolster its defense capabilities, the Polish army has announced its acquisition of the K-2PL, a state-of-the-art main battle tank MBT, designed and produced by the South Korean defense industry. This advanced armored vehicle is a Polish variant of the renowned South Korean K-2 tank. Poland's Ministry of Defense has laid out ambitious plans to procure a total of 1,000 K-2 MBTs, main battle tanks. This acquisition will equip up to 18 armored battalions, ensuring that the nation's ground forces are among the best equipped in the world. The delivery of these tanks will be executed in two distinct phases. The first phase, set for 2023, will see the arrival of 180K2 MBTs directly from South Korea. Following this, the remaining tanks will be manufactured domestically in Poland, bearing the designation K2PL. This initiative not only strengthens Poland's defense infrastructure but also promises to boost its domestic manufacturing sector. As of now, South Korea has already delivered 28 of the K2PL tanks, marking the beginning of this landmark defense collaboration between the two nations. The acquisition of the K2PL tanks underscores Poland's commitment to ensuring the safety and security of its borders and citizens. With these advanced tanks in its arsenal, the Polish army is poised to face any challenges that may arise in the future. The K2PL, the Polish variant of the South Korean K2 Black Panther, stands as a testament to modern tank design, embodying the pinnacle of firepower, protection, and mobility. Originating from a collaboration between Poland and South Korea, the K2PL is tailored to meet the specific requirements of the Polish armed forces. While the original K2 tank was a product of South Korea's Hyundai Rotom, the K2PL integrates modifications that cater to Poland's defense needs. In terms of armament, the K2PL boasts a formidable 120mm smoothbore gun, capable of discharging advanced kinetic energy penetrators and versatile rounds. Complementing its primary weapons are a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun, enhancing its battlefield versatility. Protection is paramount in the design of the K2PL. It is shielded by cutting-edge composite armor, which can be further reinforced with explosive reactive armor. Additionally, the tank is equipped with a sophisticated active protection system designed to intercept and neutralize incoming anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. Mobility remains a key feature of the K2PL. Driven by a robust diesel engine, the tank can achieve speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads and an impressive 50 km per hour in off-road conditions. Its state-of-the-art suspension system ensures that the tank can traverse challenging terrains with relative ease. Communication and coordination on the battlefield are facilitated by the K2PL's modern battle management system. This, combined with its advanced fire control system, guarantees precision in target acquisition and engagement. A significant aspect of the K2PL acquisition is the emphasis on domestic production. Following the delivery of the initial batch from South Korea, the majority of the tanks are slated for production within Poland. This approach not only allows for specific customizations but also invigorates the local defense industry. Furthermore, the deal encompasses training modules and maintenance packages, ensuring that Polish crews and maintenance teams are adept at operating and upkeeping these advanced machines. In essence, the induction of the K2PL into the Polish army signifies a monumental upgrade in the nation's armored capabilities.